Hi guys, welcome to this session on LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can do a sort and a filter on data in Calc. So I've got some data and I've got it coloured lime green, which is a bit grim, I must admit. And then this one is darker green, so you can see that when I do the sort, it will not mix these all up, which is obviously something that you want to avoid at all costs. Now, on the Home tab, you do have Sort, Options and Auto Filter at the end there, but I always like to go onto the Data tab because you've got this bigger area here where you've got the same sort of thing. So, for example, if I wanted to sort by gender, I just need to click in the Gender column anywhere, and then I can click either A to Z or Z to A. I don't need to go into this Sort box, I just need to click this, and then... Z to A, so it was already sorted on that one, so you can see that it's just sorting all the males first there. If I go to grade and then do A to Z and Z to A, it picks up the whole table, it identifies this as a table, so it's not just looking at that one column, it's picking up all the columns and sorting everything, but as you can see I've sorted it by grade now. And if I do um, age, if I click into age and just sort it age, alpha to Z and back again, you can see that it just sorts them nice and neat for you. And the same with the days, A to Z, Z to A, dead easy. But that's just doing one column at a time. What happens if you want to sort by multiple columns? Let's say that I want to sort by the name column, then the gender column, then the grade, course attended, and age, for example. That's five columns, so it'll only do the second column if there's a duplicate, which there are. You can see down here that there are duplicates, lots of Smiths, lots of female Smiths, and so on and so on. So if I just go into the sort box, you can see that I've got different options here. So I said name, I want it to be ascending. And then gender, I want that to be ascending, and then grade, and then course attended, and then finally age. That's the that's that's the sort I want. So we'll only go to gender if there's two names the same. If I click OK to that, you can see that it's put all the Smiths. Whoops. Undo that. Let's put all the Smiths together. There they are. Lots of Smiths. Then there's female Smiths, four of them. Two grade AAs, and they both did the same course. It separated them on age. So the 22-year-old 20, is first. So that's a sort when you've got multiple columns. You need to go into this box, and then you can reset it if you don't want that anymore. Now, to do a filter slightly different you put the auto filter option on and you get these little arrows across the top down arrows and it works like this if you want to filter a particular topic say I just want leadership I can take the ticks off the other two and then OK and then it just shows me the leadership and it tells you down the bottom that there are seven of 21 seven records of 21 now when you drop this back I can tick these back on, OK, they all come back. Same with age, if I want to look at an age, let's say I want to um, just look at 23-year-olds, so if I take the tick off and then tick 23, that'll just show me any 23-year-olds, and there's just two. And then I'll go back into there and select all, and they all come back. Now, you can get a bit more complicated with the filters than that, so I'll just bring these all back. Let's have a look at a range, age range. So I want to know everybody over 50 and everybody below 60. So this time I'm going into standard filter and you've got the age there. So I want it to be greater than, greater than 50. And then you go in and age is going to be less than, not less than equal to 60. And that's what I want. So I click OK to that. And I just get three. Now to knock this off, 
go back in there and just delete these out of the way I don't want them anymore and then OK and everything comes back now you've got the same sort of options on all of these columns so you go into standard filter so I D number equals or you've got other options down here like for example begins with and then you can type a value so I'm going to type CU and select and ID number select it from this list ends with and then you type the criteria in there XZ let's say click OK and you just get two I'll come back into that clear those two off if I don't want them anymore OK and then on dates same thing so we did number age text this is a date so let's go for date is greater than and you get a list of dates that's in this list so I'm going to go greater than the 1st of November and is less than so selecting date is less than and just pick another date say so that's um, that one the, okay and then it gives me the the list there and if I can knock that off by just clicking the filter on and off as well might be quicker to do that than if, if you've done lots of criteria in that option is just delete them from by taking them through the auto filter option there just bringing everything back so just to recap a basic sort a single column sort you click into the column you do A to Z on that column and it sorts them or Z to A and it sorts them whichever column you click into that will do the sort if you need to do multi multiple column sorts you need to use this box and put the criteria in here cancel that for filters you need to put the auto filter on and then you drop the arrow down and either take the ticks off some of these to just show a particular category or if I put them back on you go into the standard filter and use these features to get the, the criteria that you want I'll cancel that and I'll just knock that on and off so that's basically a quick look at how to do sort in calc and how to do basic filters in calc so hopefully that was of use to you thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one